Hi, brothers and sisters. I wanted to tell you the rest of what happened when the angel showed me a vision twice of a huge wall of water running into my ravine on my six acre property. And he gave me a command twice saying, go to higher ground. And I didn't listen when he said it twice, but instead I got in bed and I got my red flashlight and which I used to read my Bible. So I, was, I got my Bible out and I was trying to read my Bible, but what just happened was just so out there that I, I was thinking about it and just contemplating what to do. Should I go? What should I do? And that I didn't go, I just laid there and then the angel yelled at me saying, go to higher ground. And right then my flashlight exploded. The bulb totally exploded. And I was going, okay, well, this time I have to listen. I, I mean, it was just so shocking that the flashlight bulb exploded and everything. So anyway, then I got up and I grabbed my pillow and blanket and I got out the door like in about a minute or so. And I got in my car and I started driving to higher ground. I I drove to Valley Center and it took me about a half an hour to get there. It, it's a mountain there east of where I lived because my property was in uh, Vista, Bonsal area out in the country, which is north of San Diego, about 35 miles north. Anyway, so and about 18 miles east of Oceanside. So I got in my car and I drove to higher ground and you know it was out in the country and there were no hotels or anything so I thought okay I'm I guess I'll just have to sleep in my car so I got in the back seat I I found a parking lot of, of a restaurant, but it was still, you know, in the country. So I just, you know, prayed for safety and then I went to sleep. So as I was thinking, okay, in the morning I'm going to turn on the radio and there must have been a big tsunami in California. So I turned on my radio in the morning and there was no tsunami so then I realized that two things that it was a test of my obedience which I finally listened after the angel had to yell at me and and totally um, explode my flashlight I finally listened but then you know I realized it was a warning dream of the tsunami coming to the San Diego area so here's some other pictures of uh, other Christians that have had warning dreams of the tsunamis coming to California. And this is Southern California. So when I got back home, um, you know, the, the next morning, well, you know, my day just went as normal, but all of this was really on my mind, uh, what had happened and everything, because I never had an angel speak to me before like that and, and then yell at me, and, you know, the whole thing was just pretty out there. So then I, then it was nighttime, and I was going to bed again, and you know, doing my usual thing, like getting my Bible out and my red flashlight. And I was using a flashlight because I didn't want to get up and turn the light off at the switch. So that's why I was using the flashlight. 
So then I thought, oh great, now I can't read my Bible with my flashlight anymore because the angel exploded it because I didn't listen. Anyway, so then I looked at the flashlight and I decided to turn it on and it, it worked. I was like, what? It just exploded last night. I was like, how on earth is that possible? So anyway, it was a miraculous restoration of the flashlight and the light was not exploded. It, it was just like normal. And then, um, oh yeah, another thing I wanted to say, so I had that um, really awesome vision with this angel uh, a long time ago. I think it was about nine or ten years ago. And my flashlight light still works fine, like it's perfect, like it never gets dim, it's just a miracle flashlight now. So I wanted to um, just give the people of California a warning of San Diego and LA. There's a huge tsunami coming. There's earthquakes coming. Um, I just want to just warn you about that and, and pray a lot about it and Ask God to send you an angel like he did to me to to warn you when to leave uh, and please believe the Christian prophets that are getting the dreams and visions of um, the California tsunami and earthquakes and other disasters coming. It's so important because if you don't believe the prophets then you and your family's lives could be lost and you know, you don't want to be in the area when that happens. So an angel can come and warn you too if you have enough faith in that God can do that for you. He will. God will send an angel to warn you if you ask. As Jesus says, ask and you will receive. Okay, um, I'll say goodbye for now.